We look at the moon every night, but we only ever see one side, the same face locked toward Earth for billions of years. One hemisphere constantly turns toward us, the other. We had to leave Earth to see it all. To the naked eye, it looks calm. Familiar, dark Maria, bright rays, scars we think we understand. But the hidden side of the moon is rougher, older, and much stranger. The far side isn't darker, just hidden. It's older, thicker, and far more heavily cratered. From above, the moon almost looks like two different worlds welded together. Huge mass concentrations sit beneath the near side basins, like invisible weights buried under the crust. Whatever hit the moon early on left behind dense buried scars we can still measure today. And something else. The far side absorbed more of the early bombardment. While the near side was reshaped by giant impacts and seas of lava, the moon's biggest scar, the South Pole Aitken Basin, is so enormous it covers nearly a quarter of the lunar far side. Models suggest a colossal impact, so large that it nearly broke the moon's crust from the inside out. It carved a basin hundreds of kilometers across with depths that still challenge our impact theories. From the surface, it's a frozen graveyard of boulders and broken crust. Evidence of a collision the moon almost didn't survive. Beneath the surface, the moon is hollowed by ancient lava tubes and riddled with anomalies we're only beginning to map. Collapsed skylights hint at tunnels big enough to swallow city blocks. Vast lava tubes, shielded from radiation, stable for millions of years. To an engineer, they're natural shelters. To a geologist, they're records of a molten moon. Add in thicker crust on the far side and isolated magnetic patches, and the moon starts to look less like a simple dead rock and more like a puzzle. This is the moon as Earth never sees it. Colder, rougher, more ancient than any landscape we've walked. Here craters overlap craters layer after layer preserved for billions of years. And then anomalies. Like Chilkovsky, a dark floored crater on the far side where lava somehow broke through the thicker crust. No one fully agrees on why it exists or how long ago it last stirred. Each mission we send answers one question and creates five new ones. Why is the crust thicker here? Why these isolated heat spots? Why did the early moon behave so violently? We call it the dark side, not because it lacks sunlight, but because it still keeps its secrets. And until we truly understand this small, airless world, we don't fully understand our own planet's story either. A new chapter is already on the way.